For more than a century, College of the Holy Spirit Manila has formidably laid vital foundations on character and intellectual discipline amongst its students, set the bar for critical thinking, diligence, and excellence, all flowing from truth in love. The very same parameters that have given the school its graduates a distinct reputation for being the best, if not one of the best, in the academe and in society. The remarkable history of College of the Holy Spirit Manila started in 1913 when it was established originally as Holy Ghost College through the invitation of then Manila Archbishop Jeremiah Harty. The century-old college has been run by the missionary sister servants of the Holy Spirit. In July 2011, a historic moment was marked as Dr. Felina Ko Yang, an alumna of the school, was sworn in by then SSPS provincial leader, Sister Eden Panganiban, as the first lay president of CHSM after seven SSPS presidents. The task was formidable, but the same spirit guided her and through her sustained the college. The decision for CHSM to continue as an educational institution was reaffirmed, among other options after years of continuing discernment and deliberation. For a century-old institution, the decision necessitated a process that needed much inspiration from the Holy Spirit. The question at hand is how faithful as an educational institution CHSM has been to the mission of the congregation in these challenging times. In September 2015, the Congressional Leadership Team in Rome gave the approval for the collaboration of the Missionary Sister Servants of the Holy Spirit and the CHSM alumni through a management contract for the continuance of CHSM mission. On January 21, 2016, the management agreement was finally approved and signed between the College of the Holy Spirit Manila and the Holy Spirit Alumni Management Corporation. CHSM remains to be owned by the SSPS, however, it is now managed by the HS AMC effective May 1, 2016. CHSM's first president under the lay management team is Dr. Jesusa Marco. College of the Holy Spirit Manila is now managed by the Holy Spirit Alumni Management Corporation or the HSAMC, composed of 14 alumni and one non-alumna who is well recognized in the field of education. With the new management, several changes are to be expected. While the administration and operations of the school have been handed over to the alumni, the sisters remain as our partners. We consult with the sisters and have a dialogue specifically with the sisters' community in the College of the Holy Spirit, Manila. Well, the difference now is that all key positions in the school are occupied by lay, academic, administrative, and operations. Inspired by the sisters, we the lay leaders are looking into ways of realizing the SSPS mission in new and relevant ways. And changes mark the life and the continuing mission of the Spirit. These changes are in our hands, yours, ours, and all the stakeholders. Home to about 1,000 students, College of the Holy Spirit Manila has reopened its nursery, kindergarten, grades 1, 2, and 3. The school has prepped up for K-12 compliancy, in particular, offering the following tracks for senior high school. Academic Track Arts and Design Track Technical Vocational Livelihood Track it was not a difficult decision to choose where I would like to spend my senior high school. More than being a private Catholic school, 
College of the Holy Spirit Manila makes me feel I belong. Seeing how College of the Holy Spirit Manila places itself competitively in the Arts Department, then I cannot go any less than having my vital two years in the Arts and Design track right here in this campus. Every session we have in STEM is something to look forward to. The faculty here has that approach of making our daily tasks exciting, challenging, and impactful. I'm just very pleased I have chosen College of the Holy Spirit Manila as my school. And in 2017, we will be opening a complete elementary program by offering classes grades 4 to 6. Vital to the new management's plan of action is the reinforcement of the academic affairs, thus the appointment of new college dean Dr. Ludes Samson and basic educational principal Edwin Augusto Bernardo. Last summer, we renovated our grade school classrooms and the Department of Education recognized our nursery and kindergarten program. We reopened our grades 1, 2, and 3 after three decades and we have our first batch of grade 11 with ABM, STEM, TVL, and Arts and Design. Next year, we will add Humes and we will have grades 4, 5, and 6 as well as grade the K-12 program ushers in a new college curriculum which will be fully implemented in 2018. 2016 then is a period of transition that affects all our programs and the academic resources to support them. Our task is to focus on disciplines where we already excel and in this way increase our intake of new students. We earnestly aim to promote the school mission of forming agents of positive change who creatively and collaboratively respond to global challenges through a Christian and holistic formation. Through the years, Veritas in Caritate, Truth in Love, guided CHSM as it evolved into the higher education institution that it is today. The values of Veritas in Caritate continues to inspire CHSM as it progresses to be the school of choice. In the arts and education, we try to nurture and hone our students so they are able to express themselves creatively and come out as a cut above the rest. It is about training them not just to follow but lead, make and not wait for things to happen. I always look forward to our classes and activities in the Communication Arts Department. Our seasoned professors and practitioners complement the school curriculum and its facilities. Every session is exciting and at the same time nurturing. In our broadcast lab, wow, it's almost like you're in a true blue TV station. Just like the symmetry of arts and education, it is in this institution that we students are privileged to be given the gift of nurturing and formation so that we can be the best of who we are and what we can become. Our curriculum for the School of Business is aimed to develop the analytical skills of our students. Throughout the course, students are trained to think effectively about business as a whole. As a business student, College of the Holy Spirit Manila more than gives us the training. We are home to be rational, critical thinkers and planners. The programs of the School of Finance challenges students to realize their creative potential by allowing them to explore ideas, concepts, using a wide range of media that leads to artistic development and self-discovery. It gives me pride to see the Finance Department of the College of the Holy Spirit Manila. Landing on the prize spot during intercollegiate arts competition, the school truly serves its purpose of bringing out the best from students. We would like our students in the School of Health Sciences to acquire the needed knowledge, technology, and skills, as well as to show compassion as they deliver efficient health services. The curriculum and teaching methods in the School of Health Sciences prepare us to be competitive in our future endeavors. Here, we are equipped with the knowledge, training, and values in order to deliver quality patient care. CHSM also offers scholarship programs through the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation, Scholarships available are valedictorian, salutatorian, academic SSPS, alumni,
family discounts, student loans, grants, and aids. Adapting to the challenging landscape of the academe while sustaining fine traditions of the school, College of the Holy Spirit Manila is up for bigger, bolder things in its fold. College of the Holy Spirit Manila endeavors to be at the forefront of Philippine education. It wants to make a difference to be able to remain vibrant, dynamic, and be able to help in addressing several issues faced by our graduates. Issues like underemployment and even unemployment, divergence of education and employment, and even mismatch of competitiveness with industry requirements. College of the Holy Spirit wants also to be fully equipped with global competition. Uh, recently, College of the Holy Spirit launched its Center for Continuing Education. It's envisioned to be a hub for learning and for sharing. So the center will offer short-term non-degree courses that will help our professionals and even our students pursue lifelong learning, you know, to be able to enrich their lives and career. Uh, it is also envisioned to be uh, sharing, I mean a center for sharing, so that it will give an opportunity to our alumni to give back, share their knowledge, their expertise, as well as uh, give an opportunity for our sisters to teach, to mentor, and to inspire. And at the same time, we are also open to industry partners or industry practitioners to also share their expertise. So, uh, College of the Holy Spirit is now doing a call out to all its alumni and to all, even to the sisters, to be servant leaders, to give back to the school and serve. In terms of physical enhancement, there is ongoing renovation and upgrades of the school grounds and facilities. Specifically, we are making extra efforts to maintain a conducive, well-balanced learning environment for our students where there is appreciation for the presence of nature, improved facilities, technology, and systems for learning and teaching. The school has recently renovated their nursery, kinder, and grade school classrooms and playgrounds. Additional air conditioning units were set up in several classrooms. CCTV security systems were upgraded. Students enjoying better Wi-Fi access. Sanitation is on full-scale implementation. A new, better canteen will be put up. The school's simulation rooms and conference units are continuously improved. Oh, there's still a lot of work to do, but we're keeping our pace. College of the Holy Spirit Manila is more than a college. It is a community. Here is a culture that provides proper environment for learning. A culture that brings back nature in our lives. A culture that gives proper core values that build character. A culture that reminds us of the importance of human connections. A culture that provides students to be globally competitive. Culture of nurture ensures your future. Where individuals are crafted and equipped with ideals and virtues of CHSM to make them stand out and triumph in life and proud to be known to all as CHSEs.